I didn't want to have to do this, guys. I didn't want to do this. But you know what? It got me to the point. You took my money like it ain't that serious. Like, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm joking. Let me get serious here. Look, I was going to drop this video. I tried to give it a three hour grace period because I was going to drop it at noon Pacific time. But now I got to drop it because I'm tired of people playing me like I'm a clown when it comes to money. Because you know what? Um, I'll tell you guys before the video starts. If somebody gives you money, okay, out of the goodness of their heart, they don't even put you on blast. Like they don't use you for clout. They don't promote that they're giving you money for some clicks for, oh, you're such a nice guy. He just gives you some money. That guy deserves your respect. And if you don't think he deserves your respect, you should give him his money back. That's a real man. But a real man won't take your money and then a week or two later try to destroy your ability to earn money. You know, to destroy your ability to create content that people will believe in. That A person doesn't do that. So with that said, um, after seeing a few more of those comments, fired me up and it got me to the point that I'm going to just release this video. Um, now, I'm going to put throughout the video comments from people on his um, YouTube channel from that video that he you made on me. And like I said before, I don't want to do this. I hate that I have to do it. You know, and I know he got a lot of things going on in his life, but you know what? I got a lot of things going on in my life. I'm struggling. And my thing is this. If you didn't like me, you didn't want to deal with me, don't take my money from me. Don't act like you were like a friend to me. So with that said, here we go. Enjoy. I'm in the comments live. Peace. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hey, this is Taco Bell? Yeah, you yeah. ever uh, heard of No Tip, No Trip? Yeah. Oh, you have? So you know what No Tip, No Trip is, and you chose not to tip on the order? <laughs> and you know what it is? That's even better. I didn't know about that. Uh, Man, stop playing with me. What? Oh, you didn't know? So first you did. I mean, I ain't, I ain't mad. Look, you finna get your food either way. I ain't finna do nothing crazy. I'm just trying to see. Because, right. like... I'm gonna be straight with you. People who bag the tip out, they kind of suck. We we call them miserable clowns, and we call them we we no tip no trip. Eat they food. Don't bring it to room 145. Leave it outside in the cold, zero degrees. So it kind of look bad when you don't tip. Then it's not even like it's a house. It's a motel. Two different sides. Extra steps. You know, no tip. Then they most likely to say, oh, they never got it. You know, it's like it's zero degrees outside. So it's a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I try to do this to make sure the other drivers in the area, for one, don't have to deal with these orders they can actually make some money you know i like to make the customer feel bad because you should why you don't go get it yourself and i waited 20 minutes to afford this food now i got youtube you know what i'm saying so i'm 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 making money off of that but the drivers who pick up these orders they ain't making no money the hour when they pick up these trash offers like this and i look i got it in the hot bag for you ready to go they don't expect me to pull up and say hey man what the fuck going on but i'm hurt and this is what i do so if you can and you know if you can't afford it man just make a sandwich or something like straight All right, let's talk about it. Stop playing with me, man. Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, this is going to be a premiere. Probably going to last about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, I'm going to stretch this out a little bit because I got a lot to talk about on this premiere. A lot going on here. Uh, I'm going to start with talking about Lyft, how this electric car is benefiting, is making me excited and happy and all the good things, okay? That's going on right now. We're going to talk about that. Then I'm going to address... My plans until the end of July. You guys know Mr. Changes Mind all day. I got new plans. Uh, welcome back to the madness, but it ain't really crazy madness, just a little bit of madness. And then I'm gonna address what I'm doing after July. And then I'm gonna address um, the video y'all saw that created or about to create the no tip, I kick um, movement. Because guess what? I don't have respect for people that don't tip. So if you don't tip, you get your food kicked. I'm sorry, it is what it is because we need to get non-tippers off the platform, okay? But that's a whole nother story. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. Depends on the person that's um, watching this video. 
Then we're gonna talk about the person that actually did that video. You know, I considered that person, I thought we were like YouTube friends. Um, you know, I threw a little bit support his way you know, like a week and a half ago. I would think that, you know, I would get a phone call, but I didn't get that. So we're gonna address that. Um, if he was right in what he put out there, the way he made me look, um, was it for clout? Was it just him being a miserable person? Um, or is he emotional about something? I don't know. I got a couple reasons why, theories why, but I'll tell you this, we're gonna talk about it, but I'm not gonna reach out to him. I haven't tried to reach out to him. I commented on the video uh, before I really realized how disrespectful that video was um, to a person that literally, well, we're gonna address that, okay? And you guys tell me you know, what you guys think in the comments about that once you um, hear my side of the story. And then we're gonna wrap it up with um, a little bit of race. You already know we gotta talk a little bit about race. We're gonna talk about how um, we seem to victimize each other and then we wanna play victim as soon as it happens to us. We're gonna talk about that. Um, I'm guilty of that too. Then we're gonna talk about um, the gig world. You know, if this is something I should be diving back in. But let's start with Lyft Rental Program. I've only been doing this for a day and a half, okay? And I gotta say, it's great. I got this electric vehicle. Um, I'm paying, if I do 90 rides, 220 a week, which comes out to about, just say $900 a month. But um, I saw a driver who's been renting for a month and he's actually, um, claiming that he's only paying 150 a week. So I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but I know with Lyft, for some reason on the app, I did rent it on Thursday. So they only charged me for three days. So they might just be charging, you know, a whole week next week and maybe only charging uh, for three days this week. But either way, um, he said that he's only paying $600 a month. Okay, and that would include the rental and insurance. Okay, he could be lying. He could be confused on the deposit. I don't know, but either way, I'm hoping that that's true. But either way, I'm looking at it as $900 and I factor that as my ride share insurance that usually costs me $250, $300. You factor that in, I'm paying $600 for the vehicle, okay? And this is an electric vehicle. This is a $50,000 vehicle. And already I'm saving a lot of money on um, the, um, the mileage because I'm paying about $26 to fill up, which gives me about 220 miles if I fill up to 80%. If I go all the way to 100, you get about 260. But the 80 to 100, the cost of it is almost um, half of what from 10 to 80 is. So that's kind of the reason why I don't fill all the way up. But that's the story for for the video review of this car that I'm going to do and I'm gonna put out tomorrow. Um, the rates have increased. I don't know if Jay Rue was just like if he was a psychic or if he was just in a a uh, better market if LA area, the rate is just low or what, but I've noticed that I've been making about 90 to 95 cent per mile, which is great. I'm happy with that. And I'm not talking about just the actual driving miles. I'm talking about the miles to pick up. All the miles included, um, for example, if I have a nine mile from, you know, pickup, or not pickup, but from getting to the destination um, for pickup, dropping off, nine miles total, I'm making like $8 off that ride. It's crazy. Before, for nine total miles round trip, you know, from where you're at, pick up, drop off and all that, you would only make like $7, you know, on nine miles. Now you're making freaking eight, eight fifty. So I'm excited about that. Um, that allowed me to now make on active time $23 an hour on average. I've only done four hours though so far, okay? But remember, keep this in mind. I've had about an hour and a half of time that was logged on, but didn't have anybody in the car, but that was because I was cherry picking. I was literally assuming that these trips were bad trips because it was trips that were like three miles paying $4. I wasn't taking them because I'm like, no, I'm not doing that because I was having flashbacks of the past. But really that was a good trip, you know, because it's truly three miles. It's gonna take me about 10 minutes to do. I'm making $4. You know, you can knock out because I used to knock out like three, four of those an hour easy in my sleep because of the fact they were so fast and now they're paying three four dollars each i'm happy with that you know even if i make a 16 17 dollars an hour there's a chance for a tip so i'm looking forward to driving for lyft again okay and we're going to talk about the plans in a second but i will say that i'm only talking for five hours six hours of 
of active times total. So things can fall apart. Maybe they're just suckering me in and they're just selling me a dream. Maybe the everything's gonna collapse. Who knows? But I know for now, I'm happy with what's going on with this, this whole rental and with Lyft. Um, then they changed a couple other things. I don't know if it's Prop 22, but they don't switch you automatically anymore. Because I used to hate when I would drive a mile, um, get close to picking up the person, then they'll switch you to somebody else that's like four miles away. I'm not doing that. Then I gotta cancel, and then this goes against my cancellation rate, and then I don't get paid for the miles I already drilled, drove. So now you gotta actually click the switch button to be switched. They don't do it automatically. So it's kind of predatory if you're a simp because I noticed that normally they don't show the picture of the person anymore that you're picking up. But for some reason, that switch that they sent me, it showed the woman, literally showed the woman's face. And I'm like, okay, uh, I'm not switching. She's two miles, I'm a half a mile from picking up this person. She's two miles away and she's going the same distance um, on her trip. Why would I switch? So that made no sense, I didn't do it. But I don't know if that's just how it is or if they're literally just being, you know, assuming that a woman pick up, a guy's gonna do it. I don't know. You know these companies be doing shady things. But I did notice that. But other than that, it's been nonstop, okay? I've probably had maybe six minutes of no ride. Mind you, that's with me declining and not getting another ride for six minutes. But it's been nonstop. Like, whenever I'm on, I can keep rolling. So I can definitely see $25 being possible, especially at night. Because, you know, the bonus usually used to factor into me making a dollar per mile. But now with the bonuses they're offering, you know, $2.50, $3 peak pay, um, surge money, it actually boosts you now. To where now, if you do that five mile ride, that pays now $4.50 to $5, you're making $3 extra, that's $8. So now you're actually making money to actually, I wouldn't say be excited about, but be excited about. Because I can knock out four of those in an hour you know, that's $32 for the hour. So I see overall, now that I'm not living day to day and I'm not trying to cash out every single single freaking hour, um, my weekly pay is gonna be great because I'm gonna have a freaking $1,400 to $1,500 take home every single week because of this. Because I'm gonna be driving about 60 hours and I can definitely see myself in 60 hours hitting $1,500, okay? And if the car is only $150, then I'm at that $1,350. Okay, and that's not including any type of tip. So I look forward to that. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. That's the reason why I didn't do a ride along today because I haven't done any deliveries. I've been doing Lyft and then I had to go return that charger. So um, I was getting all that done. So that's the reason why, you know, I haven't really worked yet, but I did make today like $60 doing Lyft for two hours. So I'm excited about that. Now um, we're gonna address the next two months. Uh, a lot of you guys in the comments already said it. Okay, go get a construction job, go learn a trade. You can make freaking fifty, sixty thousand $60,000 in California. Um, you can make $30 an hour right now. Yes, absolutely. And I learned that the past two months um, that I didn't need to go to college because at 36, with the degree that I'm just chasing, um, I can literally get the same job without the degree with me just getting in and impressing the recruiter or the, the employer or you know the business owner. I can get the same job with the same pay with a community college, with having a community college degree and not having the same exact thing. So what I'm actually gonna do now, uh, I'm staying in this school system. You know, they have like the community college, um, Los Angeles Community College is part of like a whole system of colleges they have. They have a trade program. I'm either gonna go to the trade tech program they have and just switch over to that. Everything's already done. Um, I can just switch over. Or I'm gonna go and Two people know um, apprenticeship programs that they can put me in, in touch with or people that have apprenticeship programs that I can go and get, get into one of those programs, be an electrician. Now, being an electrician is something that, as a kid, I enjoyed doing more of like, um, I wouldn't say the electrician part of it, but more so fixing things. Um, I used to have those steel techs, okay? So I used to like wire them up and, you know, like do all that stuff. I think that'd be fun. Um, I think that'd keep me, you know, excited, motivated. Cause you know, with the ADHD, you get bored fast and you just hate your life. So that's the option, but I'm gonna pick the best trade that I see and I'm gonna get right into the workforce within a year. Because me going to school for four years and trying to work part-time and just hoping to get a management job or, you know, a marketing position, there's no point. I mean, it's no point because it's not guaranteed. And I can mess around and be 41 years old with no type of future. So at least with me doing this, 
I'll be able to um, get into a career, you know, that's gonna pay me to start 20 to $25 an hour to start. Then in five years, more than likely I can make at least um, $35 an hour, if not go in business myself. So that's the option I'm taking. That's something I'm looking at. I had to move up for the car behind me, um, pull up. So that's another option. But that's going to be um, trade program. That's going to be after August. That's going to be literally starting in August, like August, like the first week of August, I think the program start. But before that, what I plan on doing these next two months, because school is over in a week and a half. I only got three classes left um, on each class. I'm going to be doing this literally 10 to 12 hours a day. Okay, 10 to 12 hours a day. Um, my goal is to make $1,500 a week and it's achievable because you have delivery apps and you have Lyft. Lyft, you gotta work all these apps the right way, okay? And you know I'm the king of figuring it out. I had it already figured out. The only difference is when I was driving an Apollo and when I was driving that Charger doing Lyft, gas was killing me. I wasn't really making any money. And I know a lot of you guys told me how stupid it was, but guess what? If I was gonna pay for a car, I was gonna pay for a bigger car that's gonna be comfortable to drive for long periods of time. Um, instead of getting a small car, it's gonna be the same exact price in rental, but the gas might be a little bit cheaper. But then on top of that, um, insurance was not included, so that was another deal. So with that said, what I intend on doing is making $1,500 a week doing all these apps, 10 to 12 hours a day, every single day. Um, my son is gonna come visit in July, which is gonna allow me to just work up until that point. My daughter is moving here in July. So my goal is to get my apartment, now that I have, I hate using this word, but a partner in July, so that way I can get everything situated and then have my kids come the first week of, or second week of July and um, get settled in. And then we're gonna go to Disneyland, we're gonna do all that, but that's a whole conversation for another video. But with that said, I'm gonna work like no other because you know one thing I'm not is lazy and work ethic my middle name, middle name, you know, I'm like the best at that. So instead of sitting over here complaining about how I'm not making money, how bad life is, no, you just gotta figure it out. And right now, because uh, I'm not even gonna lie, prescribed medicine from the psychiatrist, my mind is set in a better, set more so in a better uh, way, better path forward, okay? No more backtracking. So with that said, um, I'll be making that money, doing that, um, not doing no sports band until August when you have um, the big sports league start. Um, and then you got, you know, end of August, making money sports band. I'm going to be um, streaming that online. I'm going to show you guys me making that money like I did those um, three or two or three days that I showed you guys what I do. But that ain't something you can do in the off season with um, international basketball. Too much rigging going on, too much point shaving. So can't be playing around with that. So... That's the goal. So two, the next two months will be me grinding it out pretty much until the end of July. Um, uh, ride share, nonstop. When my kids come, I'm only gonna work maybe five, six hours early, and then I'm gonna spend you know the rest of the day with them. And then August will be trade program. I'll make enough money between these you know these next two months and and uh, the rest of this month to not have to work and focus fully on that trade program and only work part time. Um, and focus on school because you know trade programs are like eight hours a day so you don't got time to be playing around like you know um, doing riser and all that you gotta be sharp especially trying to be an electrician you gotta be polished so that's what I got planned on um, that's what I got on the table so now let's get what you guys probably came here to hear my reaction my thoughts on that guy who here's the thing I had in my phone this phone right here I had about I got one video that's edited that is a reaction video that I was gonna put out, but I'm like, I'm gonna be putting out something that's as low as this guy. Why do it? Like, why do it? Why be and 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 and, and stoop to his level? You know, because I didn't think this guy was that. You know, um, but for some reason, I tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys the complete story too. I I might be crazy, or maybe I'm delusional, but it seems like everybody just falls out with me on their own. Like, I don't get it. I don't know why. Like, they just fall out, and I don't really even do nothing. And I did something that would merit that if he wasn't a walking hypocrite, and if he, didn't, if he didn't do worse. You can't cancel somebody when you did 10 times worse. But let's get to it. Two days ago, I had a McDonald's order in the morning. I did a ride-along video, okay? I picked up the order. It was only a minute away from where I was at. 
So I was at McDonald's for 15 minutes because they kept stalling me. First they said two minutes, then three minutes, and then turned into 15 minutes. You know, I'm like, you know what, it's all good. It was one mile for $5. I assumed they'll tip already. So I was good with that. So I figured, nice, easy, drop off at an apartment. I knew my um, dashing time was gonna be up anyway after that delivery. So I'm like, okay, it was whatever. I'll head to Bellflower or whatever. So I get to the house and it's only parking available in red, which I hate. So I called a customer three times, okay? Three times to tell him, hey, I'm parking in red. Um, I can get in, right? So that way I can you know, deliver your order. I don't wanna get a, a fine or have my car towed. No answer. So I go to text and I see that they put um, the door code is this to be buzzed in. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I parked the car, hazard lights on, I ran to the door, put the code in. Two different times it rang, nobody answered. So now I'm frustrated. And you know, I go above and beyond, okay? So I'm thinking, you know what? I don't want this Big Mac meal. It was chick like just nasty order. I don't, I don't want this order and I don't want the food to go to waste. So I'm like, you know what? I, I'm gonna get in here one way or another. So I wait for a minute and finally a person that lives there is walking in and I follow them behind him. The guy stops me like a Karen, like, dude, like you can't be in here unless you live here. But I'm like, dude, I got a door dash order for this idiot right here who's not answering the door. I'm just dropping it off and leaving. He's like, oh, I'm, it's okay. I know that idiot, but uh, it's okay. Go ahead. So I go and I drop off the order. And when I clicked, and this is why I think this guy is like, like, I don't get it. Like, I don't get how you become a hater to somebody that literally, actually, I'll give you the backstory why I think that I deserve at least a phone call before putting a video out like that, that would, could literally have canceled me on YouTube, get, having people think that I'm just a liar. Um, when I clicked and took the picture, it showed the five, $4 and a dollar tip, but I didn't see it because you know when you end your shift or when your shift ends on its own, because uh, you're you know past the time uh, allowed, um, and there's no more time available in that, that area, it shows you what you made. So it showed that I made $15, okay, for the shift. I didn't get to see the dollar tip, okay? It literally clicked fast to the $15. So I thought they didn't tip. But instead of him realizing that, because he knows that you, on that last order, normally you don't get to see the total because they just take you to the next screen. I didn't click nothing, it just took me to that next screen. He goes and starts the video off to make me look like a liar, like I'm just talking about this guy not tipping and I saw that he tipped a dollar. No, I thought he didn't tip because the screen closed and I assumed that normally when somebody tips and it's the last order, it stays up. But this time it just took me to the $15 screen of what I made for the whole shift. So I assumed the guy didn't tip, so I kicked his order and it was only the top of the back. And it was for entertainment purposes, I'm sorry. But hey, um, I did what I did. Um, and that guy deserved it because I could have took his food, not delivered it and got paid for it. So what would you rather have? Me kick your order. Like if it was an order that if I kicked it, I can touch and, and hurt the food, you know, or not hurt the food, but, but you know, do damage to food. What would you rather have? A kicked bag that you didn't know was kicked, okay? Or would you rather have your order, you pay, you pay for that order, but you don't get your order and the dasher still gets paid. I mean, most people would take the kick bag for being an idiot for not answering the phone, okay? So once again, I didn't see anything wrong with what I did. I know it was wrong, mind you. Let's remember, I know it was wrong. But at that point, I was so angry at that customer, I didn't see anything wrong with what I did. And I kept it on my ride along because, hey, I'm gonna get some entertainment value out of it. If I'm gonna go through all that headache for order, a guy who doesn't even respect me enough to answer the phone, okay? So now we go into you know me waking up the next day yesterday and I get like I got two texts people talking about yo what you do like what like why would you kick somebody's order and blah 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 I'm like what are you talking about and then I got like an email from somebody talking about they're gonna like get me um, deactivated from DoorDash I'm like go ahead save me so then I look on YouTube and I've realized that Dash and Trader I didn't even want to mention his name but it is what it is he did a video reaction to that one moment Okay, he didn't even think that it was more backstory to that. He just assumed that I was just, just being like he was being with like confronting people about not tipping. Like he didn't ask the people, are, they, are you disabled? Are you a military veteran? Like, are you um, like, you have like a learning disability? You don't know how to tip? He didn't ask them none of that. They could have been going through it, okay? They could have just been broke and got a free meal from somebody who decided not to tip. 
He didn't ask that when he was doing his confrontation videos because it was entertainment. That's what blew him up. If he didn't do that, his channel would never have blew up. I mean, it would have blew up because he's a creative guy and he knows how to edit. It would eventually blew up, but it wouldn't have blew up as fast as it did. Most of the people, we got to say 75% of the people that got him to his first 3,000 subscribers were there because of him doing confrontation videos, okay? But here's the reason why I'm even addressing this, okay? Because of the fact, um, you know, he tried to tarnish my character. My reputation, that's all over the place. But I'm one thing. I'm not a guy that's going to punish somebody for not tipping. I'm not going to kick your order. I've never kicked order before. I kicked that order because of the fact that person put me through all that and didn't answer the door. And I could have kept that meal, but I delivered it anyway. That's the reason why I kicked that order. But I've done rock orders where I delivered like freaking 50 pounds of rocks up freaking like three flights of steps. I did that. Okay. And I still said thank you to the customer with a smile on my face. I don't disrespect people. I've never told a person, which most of these people that get rocks and, ki and kitty litter, they don't tip. I've never told that person, hey, you're a miserable person for not tipping. You're a clown. I've never done that. And you know, you guys let me know in the comments below. What's worse? Kicking an order that you could have kept. You didn't have to deliver. You could have got paid and kept, I mean, kept the food order. But you delivered it anyway and kicked because you thought there was no, no tip after. Or confronting somebody and calling them a clown to their face and you not just, I mean, I can see doing it to men because they can actually defend themselves, but you did it to women who most of the time know that they can't defend themselves against men, okay? And you did it to women and you think that what I did, kicking a bag is worse. So this is where the hypocrisy comes in. He's a walking hypocrite, okay? Um, he literally was, were, he was doing those videos